What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. We are currently in New York visiting my little brother. This is the final day I'm gonna kind of be here with my parents. I've already been here for a few days and haven't touched my camera. It's like one o'clock. We all slept in. My dad's, I think, just woke up and my mom's been like ready to go. She's in the lobby, she wants to go meet up with my brother, so we're gonna go meet her downstairs. Here's what happened yesterday. I took my camera downstairs to the lobby to meet my mom. Hey mom. Hi. Should I record a video today, mom, or no? Huh? Should I record today or no? Nah? That's what I was thinking. And I was like, you know what, mom? You're right. I came back up here, I put my camera here, I didn't film anything, and now my parents are gone, and Heidi and I, long story short, extended our flight one more day, because her family's coming in town today. They're going on like a long cruise, and I think they're leaving out of New York, right? Mm -hmm. So they're here for like a few days, so we're gonna say what's up to them, we haven't seen them in months. But I wanna show you one thing. Yesterday, Heidi and I got our photo drawn, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the guy was like, we can do the cartoon version for cheaper, or we can do like the detailed, real life, like, you know, really good, high quality version. I was like, well, I want the high quality version. <laughs> I posted this on Instagram. That's an HD. People are saying it looks like the crackhead version of me and Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna vlog today. I don't really have like a game plan or anything. I feel like all like the fun vlog family stuff would have been filmed the last few days, but I had a great time with my family. Let's go to the gym, pre-workout meal. I've got one of these uh, core protein drinks. 26 grams of protein and 28 grams of carbs. Mm. Whenever you feel gross and disgusting, just, there you go. It doesn't work. Sick. Trust me. Like a new man. <laughs> We are currently at UFC gym in Soho. Very nice gym, it's about $35 per person per day pass. We're gonna go ahead and get our money's worth. This is gonna be a really simple, effective, just easy push day for you guys to follow if you wanna try it out later. I feel like a complete trader here. Like I shouldn't be showing you this, but you know what? I wanna be real on this YouTube channel. I don't have any pre-workout. I don't really like coffee. And I have no 3D energy. So they had some bangs up front. So I picked up a bang for some Ew. caffeine. I know, I know. All right, guys, welcome to today's commentary. First thing I want you to do is screenshot the workout on the screen right now. Try it out later this week. And second thing is just take two seconds of your time and give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Now, I'm gonna take you through as much as I can, as quick as I can. First movement is a flat barbell bench. Now, I'm not saying that any other recommendations are incorrect, but what I personally like to do on my flat bench, which is, I'm considering this my main compound movement for the day, instead of going up in weight and down in reps every single time, so like a standard pyramid, where say you do 185 for 12, 15, then you go 225 for like eight, 275 for like three or four. What I recommend you doing is picking, well, you know, today I did four sets of six. Sometimes I'll do three sets of five. Sometimes I'll do five sets of five or five sets of three. Pick a one weight and use that same weight each and every set. And so I'm not changing the weight. 275 is my weight for the day and I'm trying to get four sets of six. Now, if I hit four sets, four sets of six, the next time I do four sets of six, I'll go up to maybe 280 or 285 and make those slow and steady progressions uh, like that and just focus on progressive overload on that main compound. Now, with that said, I like changing out my method. So sometimes I'll do a standard pyramid, which I did here on the incline bench, uh, where with dumbbells, which is you know 12, 15 reps, and you increase the weight, then 10 to 12, increase the weight, eight to 10, increase the weight, six to eight or so. And like neither is incorrect, but I personally just like the first method for my comp, or for, yeah, for my main compound. Yeah, okay, uh, next thing. Sorry, I'm talking super quick, but I'm trying to get through all the footage. Next thing is a pec deck. Now, I chose to do a pec deck. Really, guys, chest training is very simple when you break it down. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not. You have pushing movements and you have flies. So I chose a pec deck. If you guys wanna do a cable fly, if you wanna do an incline cable fly and target a little bit more upper chest, whatever it is you wanna do, just focus on not bending your elbows too, too much and allowing your chest to do the work. I like focusing on bringing my palms and my pinkies kind of upwards as I'm, I, I almost pretend I'm like supinating and scooping up my chest when I'm doing any sort of fly. 12 to 15 reps, do four sets, three or four sets. And then I moved on to my tricep pushdowns. You guys have seen me do these a ton of times. My main tip here, if you guys have never tried, if you, if you have problems getting your triceps to like to work and to grow and to really feel your tricep activating, try closing your eyes and just focus. You can see here, I have a slight twist on the outside and that's why I like using the rope. I can twist and once you twist, you wanna literally close your eyes and squeeze, focus on squeezing your tricep as hard as you can for a one Mississippi count. Come down slow and feel a stretch at the very back, hold that stretch and then that's how you wanna do your tempo uh, with your triceps. So closing your eyes, though it sounds kinda stupid or whatever, it may sound stupid, It will help, or it helped me at least at the beginning to sort of, you know, get rid of my eyesight, just focus my senses on squeezing my tricep, and uh, yeah. 
sick. Okay, now biceps. Uh, I would never do biceps on my chest and tricep day, but because I was in New York, my training was kind of off. I skipped my uh, workout the day before. I like to train everything at least two to three times a week. So really, if my biceps are good to go and I, hadn't, I haven't trained them in 48, 72 hours, I'm going to train them with a little bit of volume. So I like to train a little bit higher frequency and a little bit less volume. So I was like, hey, why not throw some bicep work? I'm not going to hit them for another two days. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah, I just did a few sets there and then I have legs today and then I'll be doing another back and by tomorrow and shoulders. So final thing, body weight dip with body weight push up. That was a workout. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I'm talking really fast. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hey, you guys have Oh shoot, thank you so much man. I'm not used to giving my idea up front. It happens like all the time, oh, so I appreciate it. Thank you. you guys have always wondered what my idea is like. So that is my driver's license photo. So my brother took us to this restaurant the other day. They had this in Houston. I would come here probably four or five times a week. It's essentially a big bowl of white rice and you get to choose chicken steak. I think they have some other protein options and then teriyaki sauce and soy sauce on top. So I got chicken with rice, it's white meat chicken. I got a side of steak for some more protein and then Heidi and I got three of these uh, just sides of cucumber with this really nice like, almost like an Italian dressing vinaigrette kind of taste. I wanted to take just a few minutes and give you guys a business update. This is everything that's been going on this week. I'm gonna kind of break it down by company. So first, I just showed you guys that Glaze restaurant. When I went with my parents, my mom was like, man, this is so simple. You know, I should do something like this in Sugarland. We don't have anything like that. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, I've talked about investing into a Waba Girl, which is essentially the same thing. White rice, teriyaki, pick your meat kind of thing. We kind of got you know more into the idea, started talking a little more about maybe starting Guzman's Grill. The Starbucks that we always go to on the way to the gym, there's some pizza spots, a gym John's, a Dairy Queen, all in this area, and there's some places for lease. So, potentially thinking about doing that and kind of letting mom and dad run it. My parents are both have both been self-employed essentially their whole entire life, and so they don't really have like plans, retirement plans, things like that, money set aside, and so that could be something to sort of you know keep them busy and set them up to have their income, you know. And right by the gym, be delicious, <laughs> have uh, lunch every day, and all of our members and day passes you go check it out. So that's an idea. Next thing, Alfleet, we had a big launch this Saturday we had a record as far as website visits go we had over 135,000 people visit the website not in 24 hours but from 10 a.m. Central till midnight over 135,000 which is crazy the revenue that day actually tied our previous launch which was really good uh, but with that said if you guys watched the last video I have the most I've ever invested ever of the companies ever invested into this launch so we were able to pay off all of our product cost uh, which was awesome in 24 hours next thing we have the summer shredding classic yesterday morning i signed the summer shredding classic 2019 contract and so we are on it's official june 29th which is a i don't know <laughs> what is that, a feather just flew in Heidi's mouth. <laughs> Next thing, 3D Energy. I am very excited to announce that we have partnered with Predator Nutrition, which is a distributor, and they are going to ship everywhere international. So if you're in the UK, if you're in Germany, if you're in Ireland, if you're in Australia, you can now pick up 3D online. Just go to predatornutrition.com. Uh, I'll put like a little B roll kind of thing, but you just go to the website, you go to food and drinks click energy drinks and you'll see us right there. Shipping is free if you buy two cases or more. And if you guys wanna carry 3D in bulk, so if you know, if you know your gym owner and you're like, hey, you should carry 3D here, sell the members to do really well, or maybe you have some friends that own some gas stations or convenience stores, then you can email 3D Energy at PredatorNutrition.com to get set up with like a bulk distribution deal uh, so you can start distributing 3D in your own kind of store. It's crazy, man. That That's a huge so deal. Cool. And so we're making the 3D here. We put it on a boat, ship it to Predator Nutrition, and they're gonna distribute it to everyone for us, which is freaking awesome. Next thing, for the first time ever, the gym broke 500 active members. So we are at 527 members as of this month, uh, which when we were at the other gym, the 10,000 square foot, I think we were at like 215, like at our peak, at the, at the highest we ever had. So that's awesome. Uh, last thing, just a few like things I can't really tell you about. I'm in the final stages of making a investment, a pretty big investment, which I will tell you about when it is finalized. And Becca's finalizing the new company that I hinted at in the other video. So that's kind of like everything going on right now managing all that and Derek's <laughs> in the UK right now with our EU people. So that's it. That's a update. Sick updates, right? Sick update. My actors are totally understand. Info. Bro, you're getting a shout out right now on my YouTube oh. channel right there. Look at that. 
Thank you. I played Doc on Power season three. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah. What, what, what character? Doc. I was with the character. You are you caught up? Are you uh, yeah, I'm, I watch everything. So do you remember Jukebox? Yeah. I was. I worked for her. What? No way! What? Holy crap, bro! I, I, I mean, I had a dream. So I run this gym, right? And I had a dream just last week that I was in power. So Ghost was in there, man. I, it was like it was like a drug dealing thing in the gym, right? Uh -huh. And uh, oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, that was my first guest star role. And then it just. What? Yeah. That's so, so cool. Yeah. yeah. I didn't die though. No, that's just so, good. Oh, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> Everyone else is dying. Oh, that's just too much. What's an acting tip you could give us? A random acting tip. Can I say exactly what I go, want to say? Go ahead, go yeah. ahead. Acting will never be a side bitch. No. Ever. <laughs> so you can't just pick it up when you decide you want to. You gotta study. You gotta Love train. It. Love it, man. Yep. Well, best of luck to you, bro. Thank what you. A, what did a you meet 50 Cent? Did you meet 50 Cent? Oh, of course. Oh, Ooh. I'm in the scene with him. Yeah. <laughs> so mess up my do here. <laughs> Put that thing up on my head. Wow. wow. Look at that. That looks Come so cute. Come here, Come to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go kiss. <laughs> my dad's size. <laughs> dad. Aww. I tried to get you guys matching ones. <laughs> hey, I'm just excited to see you guys. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. It's just something small. Mm -hmm. We were just shopping today. I was like, oh, he's so cool. I got mom and dad Aww. matching ones. You guys are special. You guys are like. Yeah, you guys. Chowing down. Oh boy. Seriously. It's a passport cover. That is so way don't cool. Mess it up. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? Hey, so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we down here, they'll direct you down and you'll be okay. Perfect. Okay? Thank you so much. I got the VIP hookup up to the top of the Empire State. Check it out. Yep. There we are. You can see the Nike logo. The hashtag branding. So exactly two years ago, well almost exactly two years ago, Hyde and I came here together with a few friends and uh, we weren't like publicly talking at the time, but yeah. she uploaded a YouTube video. I was in the reflection of the glass of one of the buildings and some screenshot it went all over the internet. Yeah. And, uh, and I was, he was like, so he's like, how could you miss my reflection? I'm like, it's not even a mirror, it's a glass, like, like one of these. Yeah, like one of these that you kind of see me in the reflection. Then you got busted. For like 0.5 seconds. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Whoa, that's kind of scary looking here. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> Let's try with these coconut waters. It's in 3D. What, 3D? <laughs> I want to see a 3D there. I see it, I see it happening. Ooh, vitamin water Move lemonade. That over there, you'll have plenty of room for free. <laughs> I'm from North Pole, Alaska. Which one is going to be make me happy? <laughs> She's heaven right now. It's really, it's really a good. Mm -hmm. Evening snack. Blueberry muffin. This is not a skinny. This is not a low carb. Mm -hmm. White chocolate mocha. Reve with no whip. Mm -hmm. Get my calories in. Not so bad. You're a terrible example. <laughs> R.I.P. Real though? So you seem happy. He looks really happy. Yeah. He's getting a dog too. Look at that, look at that. Life is about to change. Look at, look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly looking. Right, we had a great day hanging out with Hattie's family, and now we are here literally for like five minutes in Times Square. The city that never sleeps. We literally just came here for a photo. We took a photo like right here two years ago in front of uh, this big tower thing. And so we took another one two years later. I'm ready to get the hell out of New York. Yeah. This is not my thing. Too much We're not emotion. New no, not at all. So many people. So much effort to do so anything. Lines. So many lines. You can't just, if you have to go to the bathroom and you're like walking, you're screwed. You're screwed. You have to go buy something at Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks Pop or. Squat behind a bush. Yeah. 
I don't hate many things. I'm not gonna say I hate anything, but when people are like, when you have to move out of Sugarland and like your hometown, the answer's no. I can't fathom living like in a city like this. I can't fathom you know, not being able to restroom if you have to go. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wait, wait in a line to go to the bathroom. Literally like Starbucks, like, they're like, no, sorry, the line is at least running this long. I'm like, what? Like, what do you have to It's like everything, to, in order to do something, it's so much effort and like, I just don't understand why. And like, everything's so expensive. So expensive. Drink, like, anything is expensive. Like, what if you meet someone and they live like three miles away, but it's like a 45 minute commute every day to see them? I don't know, traffic, yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> just, every time I come to New York, it's like once a year or so. I love it. I love it and I get reminded, like, wow, I remember the last time last night, you know? Like, it takes 40 minutes to get from here to the hotel. I'm like, I'll never choose to have the stress, the hassle, and pay a ton more. Never. Never, never. Nope, nope, nope. I feel rude and like in the streets, it feels like, you know, I just want to. Dad, people try to sleep stuff, I'm like, party. That was just a mess. I just recorded that so I recorded and let it out. Hey, Heidi, what do you got in the bag? Oh, oh, hey, Virgin, I got a. I got a burger. <laughs> it's been a long day, you know. Recording me. A baby boo. It's been a baby long boo. day. <laughs> <laughs> man, that was pretty messed up, dude. Uh, are we gonna like hang that you know, up? Funny or? Is, like, in the moment, I was like, man, Heidi, he's doing such a good job. I remember him saying that. He turned around, I was like, I was like, you think I, I look I like, like that? How do you look just like you as he was drawing it? And then it just doesn't. And then I saw it, I was like, oh. Okay, so it's like 10 o'clock. Honestly, it was like super beat. It was really cool that Heidi's parents came in last minute and we got to like hang out for a day. But we stopped at this burger point. Picked up two things. Number one, we're gonna split this uh, grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, ready? Mmm. Actually, it doesn't look that good, but yeah. Yeah, I was like, why did you get a grilled cheese? Smells good. And then we each got a burger. Ooh, look at those though. You see that? Mmm. That looks really nice. I'm sorry, I feel like this video was kind of it. You know, it wasn't the best. There's not really like a big topic. I kind of updated you guys on the business stuff, which to me is really exciting. And that's really been it. Um, really spent the whole weekend hanging out with the family. And before that, it was crazy like launch work. And so I didn't film anything. So I've been slacking a little bit, but hopefully you guys can understand and appreciate the family time. So with that said, can you tell I always have to have like something in my hands or be doing something? <laughs> uh, with that said, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>